Hi, this is Sridhar. I am continuing with the set command. Today we are going to discuss about the repeated pattern and the tagged regular expression used in set command. Repeated pattern. If the pattern is repeat repeating, if the pattern is repeating, say for example, you are searching for the pattern Unix, and in the replacement string also, if it contains the same as the source string. In the replacement pattern also, it if it contains same as like this search find pattern, then and in that case, what you will do, you will use the ambition symbol. The ambition symbol indicates that it is substituting the same search pattern. It is substituting the same search pattern in the replacement string. So the replacement pattern is also contains the same search pattern. Here, if you want to replace Unix by same Unix, but the Unix should be the pattern should be enclosed within curly brace, then you can also write it like you can also write it in this way within curly brace. You are putting again Unix. This is a search pattern, find pattern, and this is a replacement pattern. And in the replacement pattern, you you can use the curly brace. In this way, you can also you can write it. But if you want, if you don't want to write the same search pattern again, once again, anyhow, you are using the same same search pattern in the replacement pattern also. Then in the other case, what you can do, you can simply substitute the search pattern by ambition in the replacement part. So in the replacement part, I'm putting it as ambition. So it means where the Unix word is present, it is replaced by the same Unix but enclosed by the curly brace. Same like that. The next example also, wherever you find Unix, it should be replaced by a word red hat preceded to ambition. Ambition means the same search pattern. Search pattern is Unix, Unix, so it will be replaced as red hat Unix within curly brace. So the replace if the ambition symbol is present in the replacement part, then it is it means it is same as the search pattern. It is same as the search pattern. Ambition and the search pattern both are same. And this Unix can also be replaced as double ambition. What what does it mean by double ambition? Double ambition means you are putting the search pattern twice. You are putting the search pattern twice in the replacement part. So Unix will be replaced by Unix Unix within the curly brace. Let me demonstrate you. Paste. Yes. See the searching for the pattern Unix and if it finds it is replaced by same Unix but enclosed by the curly brace brace. It is enclosed by curly brace, it is enclosed by curly brace. If you see this Unix is not replaced by same like this. It's not replaced by Unix within curly brace. Why? Why? Because we didn't put any numbers here. In the fourth parameter, yes slash Unix slash ambition slash here we didn't put any number or G. If if you didn't put any number, it means it is it assumes that you're, you have entered one. If you didn't put any number, then it assumes that it is for one. One means it will replace only for the first matching instance. So so the first matching instance alone got replaced. Instead of that, if you are putting it as two, then only the second matching instance will be replaced. The second matching instance is this one, and this one got replaced. If you put it as three, then all the match not 3 G if you put it as G all the matching instance got replaced let me execute the next one also paste only the first matching instance got replaced by red dot ambition means the same search pattern Unix red dot Unix within curly brace this one also got replaced whereas the second one and third one not replaced If you put two ambition symbol, it is replaced by Unix two times twice within curly brace. And you didn't put any number here, so it will replace it for only the first two matching instance. The next one we are going to see about the tagged regular ex expression. The tagged regular expression, you are searching for a pattern and that pattern is 
that pattern is put it in a tag here the tag represents the parenthesis you are putting a pa pattern inside the tag or inside the parenthesis and if you find that pattern then you are replacing it by the same pattern somewhere else say for example here I am searching for the pattern unix and this unix is put we have put inside uh, we have put the this pattern unix inside the pattern curly brace inside the parenthesis inside the parenthesis if it finds this word unix then it's replaced by slash one slash one you are putting slash one twice means it's replaced by again unix and unix if you read this you will be very much familiar the first pair of the parenthesis the first pair of the parenthesis this one this parenthesis represents slash one the first pair of this parenthesis this is the pair of the parenthesis it represents slash one if you are putting any other parenthesis here, here again see in the second example you have, you have entered two pairs two tags one is unix and another one is linux so if you are putting two parenthesis in this search pattern itself in that case the second pair represents slash 2 likewise if you are putting more pairs then same like that you can enter slash 3 slash 4 slash 5 to, den to denote this search pair so you can put this slash 2 and slash slash 1 slash 2 slash 3 in the replacement part in the replacement part you can put all these slash 1 slash 2 and all to make the changes to the source string here I want to replace unix as unix unix I want to replace unix as unix and unix so I am putting it inside the tag that is inside the parenthesis let me explain demonstrate it I will explain you one by one said within single quotes substituting what is the search pattern my search pattern is unix i am putting inside that tag that is parenthesis and this parenthesis should be initially it was like this it's like this i am searching for the pattern unix i am putting inside the tag that is parenthesis and this parenthesis is not recognized so you have to escape it so to escape this parenthesis you have to put the backslash symbol in front of the parenthesis so in front of the parenthesis means here putting backslash so source part is over and i want to replace this source part by unix and unix so in the replacement part i can put it as backslash one again backslash one if you are putting backslash 1 it denotes the first pair of the search pattern the first pair is unix so i am putting unix here again slash 1 again slash 1 means again the first pair of the search pattern the first pair of the search pattern is again unix so wherever unix is found it will be replaced by unix and unix let me execute yes the first pair is let me view the file the first pair here unix unix is replaced by unix unix and the second pair is not replaced why because we didn't uh, give any number or g here so the second search pattern instance is not replaced the third one also not replaced there is no search pattern in the second line and in the third line yes one unix is there that unix will be replaced as unix unix and the second search pattern it's, it's not replaced because we didn't mention any number over here there is one more example that is i want to replace unix by unix linux by linux unix just i'm changing unix linux by linux unix where is unix linux in this content unix followed by linux it is present only here so I want to interchange it as Linux and Unix. Let me write the command here itself instead of copying. It's within single quotes, yes, slash. I want to search for, first put the tag. I want to search it for Unix Linux. 
so let me put unix and the second pattern search, search pattern is that is second tag is within the tag linux i want to change it as slash the first will should come in second and second should come in the first so backslash 2 and backslash 1 this unix is backslash 1 and this linux is backslash 2 so i want to change it change it as slash 2 and slash 1 and again slash there is only one matching instance so no need to put number here simply close it and the file name and here I didn't escape it so let me escape the parenthesis before open and close parenthesis you have to escape it by putting the backslash in front of the parenthesis open or close yes it's completed so if you see this one the third line contains unix and linux and this unix linux is converted into slash 2 and slash 1 slash 2 and slash 1 means linux unix it's converted into linux unix and here you you mentioned that unix and linux directly but you don't know what content is there it may be any alphabetic alphabet words it may be any alphabet words in that case in that, ca in that case what you will do you can simply mention it as it is any characters from a to z it is any characters from a to z small a to z is it only one character no u n i x there are four number of characters it may be four or five anything so you can better you can put star asterisk means any characters from a to z and any number of characters that's why i put a star and then you have a space after unix there is one space now i'm going to change unix is I'm going to change Unix is like is Unix. I'm going to change Unix is. So I'm grouping Unix in the first pair and is word in the second pair. Instead of Linux, I'm putting it as any number of characters. A to Z asterisk. Asterisk means star. So how I am replacing slash 2 slash 1 means I am replacing the second pair in the first part and first pair in the second part. So Unix is will display as is Unix. Learn bash will be replaced as bash learn. Lin Linux Unix both will be replaced as sorry I am not reading the original file. The original file is this one anyhow both are same unix linux both will be replaced as both unix linux let me execute this if you see there is no space here is unix if you want space you can put backslash 2 space backslash 1 means the second matching parameter followed by space and the first matching pair enter it's got it is unix and both unix linux if you see here we are getting it as uh, we should get it as uh, bash learn instead of learn bash it should come as bash learn why it is coming like this because because the l is in capital letter and i am using only for this lower case lower case a to z and that is the reason we are getting it as we are getting this kind of uh, output otherwise it will come correctly if you want you can change the input file let me change and check it uh, learn change it as small l save it execute it again got it since the learn l is in capital letter previously we got like this now it's coming correctly the next one the dot symbol here the dot symbol it may be any characters it may be any alphabet character or any numbers also 
but the first starting three characters should be replaced the first starting three characters should be replaced by replaced in the reverse order in that case what you have to do the you have to first you have to give the caret symbol uh, let me execute separately said i will type it yes i want to replace i want to replace the first character starting from the first so you have to put the caret symbol or the power symbol power means the first starting line from the first starting line you will you want to replace it so there are you want to replace the first three characters so let me group it give the pairs three pairs slash i want to reverse the three pairs by in the reverse order so give it as slash three slash two and slash one that's all close the slash single quotes file dot txt now inside the open and close parenthesis you have to give any character so for to denote any character you can simply give it as dot symbol dot sorry i entered comma dot dot that's all done and since there is a parenthesis you have to escape it so give the escape symbol by preceding backslash in front of the parenthesis backslash in front of the parenthesis yes done so the first three characters will be reversed in the given input file for the leftmost instance see unix unix uni is the first three word characters that is replaced learn lea is the three first three characters replaced it's also replaced so dot symbol is used for any to denote any character and the power symbol or the caret symbol it means the first starting character it's replaced by using the tagged expression we are replacing slash 3 slash 2 and slash 1 you can also do it like this you can give space also then the output will also be having this space that's all about uh, tagged expression the remaining things we will discuss in the next uh, session thank you